I left Crystal a handle getting in touch with Jinjo. And right now they managed to exit to the dorm. My voice echoes down the rows of houses. Some nearby report is run over. どうしたの君何かあったのかいえっとあの I ran in the direction he pointed to, without stopping or looking behind me. If Ito really is the perpetrator, the one that betrayed us, that's insane. I guessed three or four different people, but I never guessed him. I know that he is into macabre stuff, but I thought that he was just into a crime. I could hear them asking what happened. I didn't have time to tell them. I ran, screaming the names of my little sister and best friend. It hurt to breathe, but I couldn't stop running. My only thoughts as I ran were of Yui's safety and Ito's strange behavior. Ito, why are you? His tone had been the same as ever. It was the exact same tone he used when he was laughing about the latest weird school gossip. So why would he do that to Yui? It had to be some kind of mistake. Because Ito wouldn't. Wait, wait, wait. If there are other people there, it would be 23 実際は何も起こらなかった。ってことは、この可能性は消えたってことじゃないのかな。もうやめようぜ。なんつうかさ、副部長が辛いと思うんだ。俺。僕が。別の能力者の可能性を完全に排除してしまったのはあの時だ。伊藤はクリスのことは引き合いに出して、僕に考える間も与えずに重大な目も剥がして捨てた。それじゃあれはわざと。More I thought about it, more unbelievable it seemed. How long had I been running? I thought it was dry and it stung. I was gasping for breath and in dire need of water. Sweat was serving off of me and I was so out of breath that I couldn't think. <laughs> Oh jeez. I know I ended yesterday's video on a cliffhanger, but I just started today's recording and I'm so tense already. This Those clues were so simple. I looked around, I saw that there was in the residential area of Shibuya that reconstruction teams hadn't gotten around to yet. I was at a lot of abandoned houses. For a second I thought that my earphones malfunctioned.
for some reason, since the audio is just gone. Even during the day, there was little foot traffic, and there were almost rumors that at night you could see the vengeful ghosts of the people who died in the quake wandering beneath the streetlights. It wasn't that far from Oba dorm, which meant that during my search, I must have circled back without knowing it. Just as I was about to turn around and head for Yoshita Park or Heikyo Academy, I heard a faint sound. A tiny noise. It was like tearing cloth. <coughs> I thought I might have mentioned that, but I forced my aching legs forward to look in the alleyway where I heard it. The light didn't seem to reach into the alley, so I could see nothing but darkness. I could hear the sound of water going drip, drip, drip. Some houses pipe must have broken. I took another step forward into the darkness, as if it was being drawn by the sound. <laughs> Suddenly, there were several sharp metallic clanks on my feet. I quickly jumped back, surprised. When my eyes adjusted to the darkness, I saw that they were pairing knives. And all of them were stained dark with something. The blades bent or broken in places. This knife I bought at the convenience store didn't really cut that well. I felt something cold crawl up to my back as I remembered Ito's words. Oh. Oi. Yui? Iru no ka? Yui? I took another step forward. I was what felt like a puddle of water at my feet and I heard a splash. But there was no answer. I took another step forward. The splash got louder. And then I realized that the liquid was sticking to my shield. Oh no, it's blood, isn't it? Oh god. It's just, I remember part 5, I was scared, insanely scared, more scared than I've ever been <laughs> during a recording, and then it mellowed out a bit. But this? This is just insane. I realized that the liquid was sticking to my shoe. I looked down and saw that my shoe was stained with the same dark red color as the knives. The wind must have changed course because the moment I had that thought I smelled something awful. I inhaled a full breath of the stench before I could cover my nose and mouth. Putting my tea down very carefully. And then I looked towards the source of the smell. And when my eyes adjusted to the darkness, I could see it. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell is this insanity? What? God. What?
Oh shit, I need a moment. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't think that they would go this far. What is this? Indeed. This is just a mock. Why? It was unpleasant, but somehow it was seductive and sweet. It smelled of meat. I could see small boxes. Made out of the rough shape of a human body. It looked like some kind of grotesque homemade doll. Dark red liquid was flowing from the boxes. I suddenly felt the urge to throw up. How long did it take me to realize? And I was staring at what was left of my little sister. Because of that, It took me a little while to notice the man further down the alley, staring at the pool of blood. How would he do this? He was holding the murder weapon in his hand, it was dripping with blood. Why, Huey? Jeez. Ito hopped over what used to be Yui and spoke to me in the same pleasant tone he always used. どうしてだって。それは俺の方の質問だよな。お前さ、なんであの時助けなかったんだ。あの時。なんで見捨てたんだ。出たって誰よ誰ってセンリはあんなに苦しんでただろうがセンリ今のはサンリ I felt nothing but confusion. But I was looking at it to seem real. I just stood there. I said that it was face that was struck. Kamuto,俺にとって掛けがえのない存在だった。それをお前が見殺しにしたんだ。It seems so unreal. What was the relationship between Minamisawa Sanri and Ito? What happened between them? It didn't look like I just have time to think about it. Ito's life got slightly closer to me. よく切れるメスと麻酔薬は持ってきたか? 
それがなきゃひどく痛くて苦しむぞゆいちゃんみたいにな。It'll smile the murderous smile. Oh, but that's how it's going to be. For some reason, I lost the capa capacity. I would say capability. To think clearly, that was the only thought that was left. It's not even going to look like a person when he's done with me. Just like Yui, the feeling overwhelmed me. All I could do was stare into Ito's bloodshot eyes and wait for the moment of my death. I thought things were going to shit badly last time. But seriously, I was not prepared for this. I thought Chaos Head was messed up. But Chaos Head can't even compare to this. This is messed up way beyond belief. And then I heard it sounded like a scream behind me. It was enough to drag me back to my senses. I really, really need to blow my nose, wipe my tears, have the urge to cough. I look back and saw Chris is standing under the street light, his shoulders heaving up and down. I Ito -kun. What are you doing? Her eyes run wide as a knife in Ito's hand. I'll <laughs> kill you too. Get away from here, Chris. I wanted to tell her to get away, but only meaningless noises came out of my mouth. It was like my vocal cords had been paralyzed. I'm just hoping that for some reason Kurusu is a very, very strong egalomaniac and she'll just mess it all up. That's what I want the most now. Kurusu did. The exact opposite of what I'd hoped she would. She ran into the alley, blocking my way out. At the same time, she noticed the boxes filled with body parts and the stinging pool of blood. He gasped. I was finally able to speak, but I couldn't answer her question. It was pathetic, but tears started to well up in my eyes. I couldn't stop them. Ito answered for me, flipping the knife from one hand to another as he spoke. Ah, hora, kiyotsuke na yo, fukubucho. その箱を一つでも踏みつぶしたらゆいちゃんを組み立てられなくなるルスちゃんパクスタートとシェイクシステータートボクセスうそうそでしょ You think her knees are reached out to what used to be Yui? 
not caring that she'd be soaked with blood. He picked up something long and thin. It had a pretty nail on it. On which I'd never been manicured even though its owner was old enough. <sighs> even though its owner was old enough to be interested in makeup. It was used finger. Dakara, Scubucho, Catin Savarana de Creo. You chang a kire ni mirio, gauge to take in its met on the gara. You shut the fuck up.全部宮城が悪いんだよ。まだ幸せだよ。こうしてすぐ死ぬことができたんだからね。And <笑> I hate those words. Something snapped inside me. The fog in my head cleared instantly. And my blood started to boil. <笑> it was a rage I couldn't control. The next thing I knew, I'd left that Ito with my bare hands. <laughs> he pointed a knife straight at me, as if he'd be waiting for this. I could tell it was pointed straight at my neck and my corroded artery. If I'd been more calm, I would have known better than to jump on him without any defenses. But now I couldn't hold back my anger. He must have thought he had me because a cruel thin smile formed on Ito's lips. <coughs> I knew I was going to die. I hoped that Carissa at least might be able to get away. The last thought that went through my head was... <laughs> if heaven was real... That was probably where Yui was going. But I knew without a doubt that I was going to hell. I'll probably never see her again. <laughs> oh please no. But the moment of my death never came. Instead I heard Crusoe scream. It was a violent sound, unlike anything I'd ever heard from her before. I looked in surprise and saw that she grabbed Ito from the side, and the two of them were rolling on the ground. The two of them were rolling around the Yui's blood. He didn't seem to hear me at all. He screamed like a wounded animal. I tried to catch both of Ito's arms from behind. Her whole body was covered with Yui's blood and each time she moved, her long hair flew up as the dark red splashes everywhere. Ito tried to shake her off and punch her in the stomach. 
She moaned in pain when the impact hit her, when she'd been stabbed before. But she still hung on desperately and refused to let go. I left on top of Ito without even thinking. I grabbed a hand with the knife and smashed it into the crowd with all my might. There was a dull snap at his fingers shattered and the knife fell to the ground. I kicked it far away. I put my full weight on Ito's back and pinned him to the ground. He was stronger than I thought and he almost knocked me off but I refused to let go. seemed to be able to answer my question. She sat down on the ground and tried to catch her breath. The shock seemed to have temporarily robbed her of her ability to breathe. Big tears fell from her eyes, and when she finally caught her breath, she started to sob. Scubicho,恨むなら宮城を恨むんだな。あの時、こいつが千里を見捨てていなければ。俺だってこんな事件を起こすこともなかった。なあ、宮城。それは全ての事件の研究は宮城だったんだ。お前が追いかけてたはずのニュージネの狂気の再来事件は実はみんなお前を追い詰めるために俺が起こしてたんだ。そんなことも調べられないで。何が情報強者だよ。すげえ滑稽だぜ。宮城。That <笑> couldn't be true. People had died because of me. If I found the truth faster, we wouldn't have died. Uso. <笑> Lucy's voice was so soft, I couldn't hear what she was saying. Huh? Lucy jerked her face upwards without bothering to hide her tears. She stood up and raged and screamed into the sky. Dribbled down Chris's skirt. Was it Yui's blood or had Chris's own injury opened again? Do you go to that, Chris? It took her. Send me no cotton at the Sinai. Tareka, you saw my commissary. Huh? 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 Huh?
と一緒にずっと過ごしてきたのよ千里はあなたに会ったことなんてないなのに復讐なんてありえないババカなこと言うなよ俺は俺は千里を愛してたんだだから千里のために Hij vertelt dat Ethos Boyo started to shake underneath me. A s a f e r chattering as if he was afraid of something. So, I'm not sure if you're a little bit of a l i t t l e bit of a little 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 bit of a l i t t l 違う違う違うひ、糸糸を振り出したら、フォーミーブブルズはポーリングを見つけた。彼の血の血が出てきた。彼の血の血が出てきた。彼の血の血が出てきた。彼の血の血が出てきた。Suddenly, blood, blood started to pour out of both his eyes. It wasn't Yui's, it was very clearly his own. When I recalled, he crawled out from under me and then crawled up on the ground. He grabbed his head with his hands and started to spasm and flail about. おい伊藤伊藤くんイトトラスはたファイルサービスバニットアゲンストグラウンドやめろおいダメよ伊藤くんクリスはないクラフトマンとはたストップエスフォーハータスプレッドオープン And the blood coming out of it mixed with the blood coming out of his eyes. It was impossible to even tell what he looked like now. But he shook us off and started to jerk and flail some more. Personalities are clashing against each other inside his head, which. Which. Uh. My brain died. Those two personalities clashing make seem the sumo stickers very fitting. It, it was shouting loudly, but it wasn't making any sense. It was as if what Cruz had said was right. I was almost controlling his brain. Mate, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. 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 <laughs> Suddenly, it was left after cut off, and he froze like a toy whose batteries had run out. And all the strength drained from his body, and he collapsed. <laughs> Chris and I together couldn't support the full weight of an unconscious human. We all fell to the ground.
Neither of us could move for a while. We just lay there. Holding you two between us. And staring at the bloody boxes that held our sister. At this point I just... I feel empty. I feel empty. I feel numb. And I'm tired. Even if the ending of the last part suggested that this may be a possibility, that they, this may have been the likeliest possibility, likeliest outcome, it just hits so hard and it hurts so much. started to cry like a little girl but there was nothing I could say to her because I felt like I was going to cry too and this was all I could do to stop myself I could hear many footsteps in the distance It was either Shinjo and the police, or maybe the reports around Oyoba dorm. Oh, it's Emilia. Fuck that. I lost my eyes tight. I didn't want to see anything else. I didn't want to hear anything else. Dame da yo, Takuru ni. No no ne te, honto wa mada kodomo nan da kara. Takuru ni ga sasaete agenakucha. Ne? Was it her ghost, maybe? I could see Yui smiling gently when I closed my eyes. Normally I would make the video cut for the title cards of the new chapter and then start a new chapter the following day because that's the logical point to cut off and start a new video. So. But I just wanted to ramble on a bit. I don't even know why. You know what, since this is probably just the end of the video, the previous video. 
Crew Logic. Before I end this video, I'm just I'm going to that is I can't even speak properly right now. Like I said, normally I would just begin the video with the title card to the next chapter. But not this time. That was brutal. In the past few years, we know this is this is just going to be the end of the video, so I'm allowed to ramble a bit and go on a tangent. This was just visceral in the last few years when I watched anime or artificial novels or any other kind of media. There may have been a handful of moments where things it just not even shocked me, but just knocked me down so much. That I couldn't even process some things afterwards. That was so painful. Igarashi had such moments and I remember watching Shiki, the anime, with some friends and one of the later episodes had the same visceral reaction but this moment I can't remember. I can't remember the moment where I, I could even think straight. As you all know, I'm not the one to loudly shout or scream. In my reactions, but I think this rambling and the way I sound speaks volumes. I can't remember the last moment I felt like this. Normally I would speculate about things that happened and just offer theories as to where the plot could be going and stuff. At the moment I just can't process anything. I think I just need a good cry and go to sleep for a bit. It's it's so weird. I've been into horror and mystery for a long time. So I thought to myself that not much could face me anymore. And and I know the sense of blood and gore. If it's done poorly, then 
It's like whatever. What the way it's done here? I think I'll end the video here since I'm. <laughs> Otherwise, I would keep on rambling for the full hour. So, as always, thank you all for watching. And until tomorrow.